My work engages material and structural behavior to explore the relationships between parts in a system or an assemblage. In response to a curiosity, I develop a rule set that leads through process to pattern, complexity, and the emergence of new formal properties. This evolution of operations reveals a shifting space between the flat and the dimensional, between liquid and solid states, and between layered moments in time. These are the leavings and the tracings um, that transpose excess or spillage uh, or mistakes. Um, a bit like lifting stains, the marks lift texture similar to the process of frottage, and they capture the gestures from other happenings. They're lived in. A thin film of synthetic rubber is lightly mounted on paper. Its folds leave room for air to move between the thin object and the substrate, defining a flat sculpture against the space of the page. This piece is a solution to a mandate that I made for myself to leave no trace in the studio, like a walk through a forest where uh, you uh, bring everything back out with you. Um, I think of the studio as a continuous kitchen where one must use everything the trimmings from one dish make the foundations of the next meal, like stock to soup, for instance. Um, I'm really interested in uh, how to make space. And in my artwork, I think that that lives in between this, uh, this place between uh, 2D and 3D. But I recently was on this residency at the Joe Mitchell Center. And I was uh, preparing for that um, by making hundreds and hundreds of these wooden tiles, thinking that I really wanted to be prolific and I'd be working in a similar way. Um, and uh, two, um, two questions um, uh, started to intersect for me at this moment. One was, uh, I started to think about the sustainability of my current practice and question the materials I was using and the whole process. And I started to think about the carbon footprint, how out of my own control uh, the material quality was. And, um, and at the same time, um, I uh, had this interest in uh, packaging. So it was this curiosity really about the translation of form from a primary object to a secondary object. Specifically, um, I was thinking of this as the object of use or desire, say something um, purchased like a doorknob and a, and a lock set. Um, and then the curious shape of the packaging that it came in. I started pouring uh, plaster casts into the packaging material. And they were really curious. Uh, you almost feel like you can recognize the thing, um, but of course it doesn't look anything like um, the doorknob at that point. So as these two things were knocking around in my head as I started um, to work, I had stopped throwing away all the packing material, the air filled bags and the bubble wrap that was coming with the supplies that I ordered. So. Uh, it was starting to upset me that every time I ordered a jar of flash paint, it would come with 17 other non-objects that I had to deal with. And I hit a point where I stopped throwing them away and it hit me that they were design objects. Um, I teach uh, in the design program and in the architecture program. And the longer I looked at these things, I um, realized how, um, how much uh, engineering is embedded in them the amount of time that somebody actually uh, designed those air-filled uh, pillows. And uh, they're really smart, right? They're uh, thinner, they're super light, they hold uh, things that are shipped to you without them breaking. They're made out of ever thinner material. They're smarter than packing peanuts used to be, but they're still really um, um, terrible, right? They are piling up on us.